it should be socially acceptable, that it shouldn't be something you're ashamed of. I think that doing it the right way and working out, lifting, um, getting the proper nutrition at the same time. Yeah, fitness solutions and resolutions this time of year. Always at the top of a lot of folks' lists, but the way people are meeting those goals is changing. Yes, it is. It's the use of the GLP-1s that is exploding. So many people are losing a lot of weight. More products are hitting the market. The prices are going down, giving people more access to them. Shante Passmore, though, is taking a look at how doctors and personal trainers are seeing results and maybe some unwanted results that need to be addressed at the gym. That is right. Good morning, everyone. I mean, first of all, who doesn't want to look and feel good? Like most gyms, Franklin Athletic Club, they're expecting to see a spike in its membership. And some of their clients, they tell me, they're using GLP-1s. The downside, they're losing more than body fat. When Katie Sullivan reached 350 pounds, she stopped weighing herself. How hard was that? that part of your life when you were doing everything you thought you could do, you were doing the clean eating, you were working out, but still it was like the scale was moving in the opposite direction. Oh, it was very frustrating. Frustrating because medications for a health condition caused her to gain weight as a young girl. In August 2023, the co-owner of Royal Swim School started using GLP-1s. The medications mimic a natural gut hormone, boosting insulin release when needed, increasing the feeling of fullness and curbing appetite. I was really successful with it. Yeah, in fact, you lost 60 pounds. I lost 60 pounds. I stopped taking it mid-November because then I had bariatric surgery. She also lost muscle mass, a side effect doctors and fitness trainers say leads to unwanted results. When you rapidly lose weight, you certainly are losing muscle. And when you lose muscle, it's difficult to get that muscle back. Once you've lost muscle, now you're metabolically less healthy. Dr. Amy Somerset of Detroit Medical Center Obesity Medicine also tells Local 4 the loss of muscle mass affects posture, balance, and mobility. Muscles also support our bones, meaning osteoporosis is a possible risk over time. Press. Press. Keep going. Ugh. Trainers warn losing muscle is not a win. Once you lose it, it makes it very, very difficult for you to gain, especially after you turn 40. You naturally are gonna lose a lot of muscle mass, and so we are always looking to increase it by doing resistance training. For Sullivan, she tells me losing weight went beyond the scale. It was hard to go up and down stairs. Uh, I have a young niece and nephew, and I wanna be able to run with them and keep up with them, and so um, I just wanted a better quality of life. Quality of life is so important. And look, everyone needs muscles, including the ladies. Rhonda, this one's for the girlies. It is okay to lift weights. You're not gonna get bulky. I lift, I'm not bulky. There's a science behind bodybuilding, but we should also point out that with GLP-1s, experts say they're not some sort of magic pill. Diet and exercise, they're still really important. We're live in Southville this morning. Shantae Passmore, Local 4. You can't get around it. The diet, the exercise are always going to be key components to staying healthy and keeping the weight off and staying strong as well. Good for you for finding a way to get in the gym this morning. <laughs> Thank you, Shantae.